previously on last week's vlog. I haven't been to my childhood home in Colorado for 10 years. This was my home before I ever got into real estate. The last time I was here, I was painting fence and herding horses as my job. So after my mom guilted me about it, I got the crew together and made an impromptu day of trip out west. And since we're here, and this is my house, I figured we'd do a property tour because, you know, I'm a real estate agent now. Okay, back to video. It's real. What? You burned the chair I made you? You burned the chair. Okay, Dad, one second. That's the most expensive collection of art that I have. Good to be home. Hung out last night, went for a run this morning, and now I want to do a property tour, unlike any other property tour I've ever done before, because I'm going to show you my parents' house. It's actually this really cool log house in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. I think you're going to really enjoy it, and we're going to get my dad to give us the tour, and my dad hates cameras, so this is going to be double fun. Welcome to Rainbow Ridge. All right. You ready? Oh, we're shaking I'm hands. I'm ready, bud. Do I have to take off my, my boots? No, you can leave them on. Really? Mom, you want me to leave the boots on? Oh, whatever you want, but you can leave them on. Okay, well, the All rules right. have changed. Big entry. Big entry. I'm the real estate broker, but my dad's gonna give me the tour. It's my dad's house, log cabin. Really, really, really cool. And you actually know it better than, than I do because I haven't been here in 10 years, apparently. Okay, okay, let's try it. Okay. It's a picture of an old cowboy there. There you go. There you go. It's some showing it some people think that's me. It doesn't really look like you. So this is the great room. Great room, big fireplace, wood burning. And you just rebuilt this whole thing. Well, it was originally a gas-fired fireplace and it was smaller than I wanted. How far can we see from here? Well, the biggest mountain you can see is Sand Mountain, and uh, that's about uh, 45 or 50 miles from here. And do you know what the, the square footage of the house is? The square footage of the main house is 5,850. Dad, you see my shirt has your name on it. Yes, I see that. Your mom frequently wears a shirt like that. Hey, good, good. Much different. Uh, in here, we've got a room that we uh, read books and watch TV. Oh, look at that product placement. Perfect. No dog ears, though. Have you even read this one? I've read your book so many times, I think I know it by heart. OK. Nice. Good book. Look, your mother bought a few to help in sales. Yeah, so okay. some of them aren't used. This is Woofy, our first dog. My mom rocking it out, little Jack. Jimbo, and there's me when I, was this third grade? Yeah, about there. Yeah, Zach Morris, I combed my hair up back before my hair turned gray, probably the next year. The bedroom is uh, the big master. Have I ever even been in this room? It's got a, its own private deck. Where's my chair that I made you? Unfortunately, Ryan, it used to be on that deck and uh, over time it deteriorated. What? So it ended up in the fire pile. What? You burned the chair I made you? The, we burned the chair, but it was literally falling apart. When were you gonna tell me this? Uh, probably <laughs> never. Oh my God, I made that chair with my bare hands. Unbelievable. Uh, the kitchen is, it definitely keeps the Western theme, I mean. For the hunters, we have a big butcher block in the middle of the kitchen where you can butcher your kill, yeah. although we've never done that here. And if you watched last week's vlog, you saw us have breakfast in this kitchen. We've got a breakfast room here which faces south, but as you can see out the window, you're not seeing any of it, anybody. That's the goal. See no neighbors. So this is, this is my room up here and Jack's room. This is what I consider my 
major art collection, my children and their getting their degrees. That's the most expensive collection of art that I had. Is this how, look how big I was? Look at, look at this face. Look at that face. Yeah, I guess you were eating well at the time. Okay, Dad, listen. And now the best bedroom ever. You didn't do a good job on making your bed. Okay, there. Dad, one second. I mean, I gotta have much time. I'll fix it. Okay, there we go. Wait. Don't film that. <laughs> okay, perfect. There All right. we go. This is Ryan's room. When Welcome to was, my room. When he was a young kid, he, uh, his mother insists upon keeping some of his things. Like my bunny. The other thing that's in here that's a little unusual is uh, the desk that Ryan made so that he could study and write his, his scripts for the movies he was making at the time. Yep. Uh, which seemed to interest him. Not a whole lot has changed. I got my. Still got my my floppy disks here and my my CDR collection from when I would burn music from Napster. It's right here, so I can listen to it in the car. Right, this is the my certificate of achievement, best actor. Whoa, that's what this is in recognition, participation, and drama. The complete works of William Shakespeare Bridge. This was the first comedy I did, um, and that's when I knew I was funny. Yep, yep. One best actor in a comedy. You didn't. You didn't like that play. I think that was the last play you well, came to. It was a little unusual. A little, un, a little unusual. Hi, mom. Hey, Say hi. All right. We'll head in here. Hey, Jack always had the better closet. He has a great closet. Oh wait! I totally forgot we had this. Patriots, signed by the second greatest quarterback of all time, Drew Bledsoe. We thought he was great until we met Tom Brady. It's true, that happened. Did Jack get the nicer room because he was the athlete and I just like drama? No, uh, basically it's because he was gonna spend more time here. I'm diplomatic. Yeah. yeah, so this was, this is where I spent most of my time. This way I didn't have to watch golf all day long with my dad upstairs, he had his space. Jack and I had our space. Nice wet bar here. Played our video games. Nice hat. Yeah. Here we go. The yeah. other feature that we enjoyed last night was to uh, have a big fire in this fireplace on the back of the barn concept of this fireplace we wanted to be able to shut the fire down at night and not worry so we had these doors built and because this is a horse property the man that built the doors thought it would be interesting to have some horseshoes on the on the, on the uh, doors and I think they're kind of cool so let's go in the barn for a minute and one of the little features that I've always liked sometimes people overlook we have a very cool tack room. Oh man, I totally forgot about this. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's just fun to be in the West and- Just like New York. All right. At the moment, this is used by our caretaker, Dwight Wilman, and uh, he's a great, neat housekeeper, which I really appreciate. In fact, if anyone decides they'd like to buy this house, they should make a deal with Dwight. Deal. Comes with a Dwight. Put that in there. No, but it's a fun place to live and uh, we've really enjoyed it and I, ho I hope when you guys were here, that you enjoyed it too. You don't appreciate it when you're a kid. I think that's that's the important thing when you come back. Like you don't, as a kid, it's just the house, it's the yard work, you're just trying to do other things. But being back here now, especially now that I'm in real estate, pay attention to the details, how beautiful it is, and you know the upkeep and the maintenance. It's a great deal too. One of the nice features for us has always been this hot tub. Yes, hot tub's great. And I have memories of coming back from theater camp with my friends sitting in the hot tub. Cause you know, same thing for you. Day of golf for me is a day of acting. 
It's hard. It's a real horse lover's paradise. It's a hunter's paradise. It's a fisherman's paradise. We've got about three and a quarter miles of Trout Creek. Which I we used to have to feed those trout. Yeah, which we, which we stock and which we, uh, when Ryan was young, he was one of the guys responsible for feeding. Yeah. And also keeping the flow great. The, the beavers sometimes want to dam up the creek. Break down those beaver dams. They'd have to That's break down the beaver dam. So it was, uh, uh, there was plenty of work to be done on the ranch and Ryan was one of the ranch hands doing it as, along with his brother Jim. And what's the asking price? Uh, I'm, I'd like to get two million four. Two million four. Yep. Two four. All right, so two point four million, which seems super cheap. You get all this plus the barn plus the furniture, undivided interest in twenty four hundred acres in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, the most beautiful place I've ever been, and it's my house, my dad's house. I painted all your fence, fed all your trout. I think it's a really, really, really great deal. Yeah, well, buddy. I I, ho I hope someone thinks that. We enjoy it, and if we sell it, we'll be sad. But if we don't sell it, we'll keep using it because it's a great place to be. Yes. Is it, now can we get the cameras out of my face? Yeah. Oh, you know, I want to do one more thing, actually. So, uh, you know, the ready, set, go thing I say all the time. Yep. Right? Got it from you. And I always do this thing at the end, I'm ready, set, go, and I go like this to the camera. So to end the property tour, which is the greatest property tour we've ever done, I want you to say, well, you should do it. Right? You're the, you're the OG. You're the original Sir Hans. So you need to say, all right, property tour over, ready, set, go, and put your, go like that with your hand. Okay, that property is. tour yeah. over. Yes. Ready, set, go. That was great. It's good. So that's right where we're ended. All right, the guy just emailed back. You know the big ranch? Which ranch? The one took $280 million, Gateway Canyon. Yeah. They want to do the, the tour today. Today? Yeah. Well, we have, to, we have to fly back to New York today. I only came here for one day. I mean, it's Saturday. We can stay an extra day. How expensive is it? 280 million. There's a ranch for 280 uh -huh. million? You think it's worth it? I, I've heard it's spectacular. What? How big is it? Um, 10,000 acres? Yeah, that I've heard it's, uh, it's, it's plenty big and special and obviously it's a one of a kind. I only packed for like one day. That's true. So this works. Yeah, whatever you outfit you're wearing, I have the no boots. idea what's going on with you right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't know either. 280 million, Yeah. 10,000 acres. I don't know. Gateway like can't, okay. Um, all right, I'll tell Jordan to push appointments one more time. Boom. All right, so this vlog is to be continued. Ready, set, go. There's eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a fossil room, a movie theater, an infinity pool, and its own planetarium. And the place is so big, it comes with its own airport, three million dollar helicopter, a spa, a Baja racetrack, and anything else that you could possibly imagine that you want to do. Vlog's over. That's it. Sorry. But you can still watch more. Maybe you can watch this one. Maybe you can watch this one. See, this one's pretty good. You should watch this one. Actually, you know what? This one seems pretty great. You should definitely watch this one. Actually, this one seems pretty good. Maybe you can watch both of them at the same time. Maybe try clicking like both.